This is a Pele Media Podcast. Welcome back to Goonies Minute, everybody. Goonies Minute is the fan podcast where we carefully explore the movie Goonies Minute by Minute. This is Brady. And this is Chris. And we are going to go over minute number 96 today, and we are joined again by our special guest, John Robert Wilson of the Fifth Element Podcast. John, thank you so much for coming back, man. I am here, and I am back, and you will not get rid of me for another 48 hours. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I, I miss the food so much. Yeah, right? All that canes. You know, I realized the other day, uh, yesterday's minute, 95, was the first time you and I have ever been on a podcast together where we're not talking about Kane's Chicken Fingers restaurant. Really? Oh, we did it. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I know. we finally did it. We broke the barrier, and we've set the record to one in a row since we've talked about it this exactly. episode. Exactly. <laughs> Between Goonies Minute and Fifth Element, it's always been a uh, topic of conversation. But So let's see if we can go today without referencing it again. Well, let's do it. Let's get into the minute. All right. In the previous minute, all of the Goonies had jumped from the ship and made their way to safety. Sloth was able to tie up both Jake and Francis and began to hoist them up to the highest point of the ship's mast. At minute 96, Andy and Bran share a kiss. Andy pulls away and asks Bran what happened to his braces. Bran is confused and asks her what braces. He suddenly realizes that Mikey wears braces and that Andy must have kissed him at some point. He shouts out at Mikey, but Andy quickly quiets him with another kiss. Meanwhile, Sloth ties off the rope and walks over to Ma Fratelli. Ma begins to play on Sloth's emotions by telling him that she had to keep him chained up for his own good. Sloth begins to let his guard down as he is won over by Ma's phony affection. And thus ends Minute 96 of The Goonies. Alright, so this entire minute just makes me feel so weird. So creeped out. And it's because we have something really sick going on, and it's a mother manipulating, emotionally manipulating her child... Uh, and the fact that it's a grown man with, you know, who's mentally handicapped does not help. And the thing that really messes with me is the fact that the filmmakers are playing this like really sympathetic, sentimental music over something that we know is not right. Again, things that would not happen in today's exactly. movie making, but <laughs> probably yeah, God. now this is probably one of the ones for the better. You know, <laughs> it's, it's it's a little much, man. I think the big thing for me is the music that they're that they're playing here. Yeah, it's kind of yeah is, disturbing. Yeah, but yeah. you know what? Even as a child mm-hmm. watching this movie, I remember being. Now I don't know what if the same thing bothered me then as it bothers me now watching it because obviously I didn't understand everything that I do now. But it was kind of made me feel weird watching it, yeah. even as a kid. <laughs> I don't know what it just felt weird. Well, I it, it's it to me it's a three pronged attack, a three factor cringe uh, effect. What do you mean? Well, so the base of the cringe effect doesn't come until the middle of the minute. So the first the the first cringe right is when you notice that oh man, Mikey kissed Andy. Right? Yeah, we glossed over that. That's a little it's a cringe, but it's a little bit more funny. Yeah. Right? That's funny. And then we get Ann Ramsey. Trying to be coddling to to sloth, and you know, there's a reason why they cast Anne Ramsey for this role. There's a reason why they cast Anne Ramsey as Mama from oh, Throw Mama from man. the Train. She yeah. plays these grisly, Ugh. hard, slimy, disgusting. I never want to be around you people. <laughs> I and think that's see, pretty much exactly how I had said her. Right, and, and, to, her. and to see someone like that try and coddle and be cute and be caring and empathetic. It's so unnatural to mm-hmm. the gravitas yeah. around her that that is the foundation to the uh, cringe. And the other prong, <laughs> the third prong, I like this. Description. You guys have mentioned is the inappropriate music to t- to tap off both of these incredibly cringeworthy moments. Yeah, yeah, absolutely unnatural. That is, if you sum up what you said, that that's I couldn't say it better. Unnatural. Yeah, that was all very, very, very well. But played. unnatural is exactly what this is. John, I think we need you on every episode because between the two of us idiots here, we just can never find the words for any of this, and you just <laughs> wrapped up the entire thing. In my all forty right, word well, uh... vocabulary. We, we, I can't even say vocabulary. How about that? That's uh, I can't right. count that. That's not that's in the vocabulary. All right. Well, we did it. This is minute ninety six. I've been John. Oh. Now. <laughs> yeah. Right. So long, everybody. Um, but yeah, that's that's. Uh, 
It's it's so strange. So strange. And it's in a kid's movie. Come to mama. Come to mama. You're like, oh my god, she wants to eat him. She's a witch. So suddenly, uh, thanks to his brother's fighting, Sloth is afforded the opportunity to tie them up and using his superior Sloth strength, pulley them up to the top of the ship just like a couple of bumbling blockheads and they're reduced to watching uh, how their idiocy has ruined the situation. That's right. And I think until the very end on the beach, that's the last we get of the brothers Fratelli. Unless I'm mistaken, yeah. I don't think they, they come back as long as we're here in the cave. But, yeah. uh, okay, so let's talk about the first cringeworthy moment that uh, was brought up. And I, I think it's a little bit easier to talk about this. Do you, do you find that it was interesting that as soon as Andy said, you don't have braces, that Bran instantly knew that she was referencing Mikey making Mikey. out with him. Like, instantly, of course. like, without a thought that he just instantly knew. Yeah, yeah. It's kind of strange. She you knew. Know? Because she, she had to have known. I think, she, yeah, I, I, think she, I think she knew. And the look on her but face. But him, he's the one that just instantly knew Mikey. I, uh, so I, I slowed this minute down a little bit right when uh, Mama Fratelli is starting to comfort Sloth. <laughs> and they do a, they do a close up of her face, and she has the most obvious sheen of slime water on her beret and on her face. Yeah, Ugh. she's like her entire wardrobe is just soaked. Uh, can and you imagine what her her outfit smells like at the end of the day? What a uh, miserable shoe! It probably smells like the urukai from the what, the, what the I two say towers. Is, so anyway, uh, that going is all... down the gutter with this minute. Pretty much. <laughs> oh, with every Goonie minute. Anyway, um, well, I tell you what, do either of you guys have anything else for minute number 96? Uh, I'd just like to postscript it with that. I'm going to be resending this t-shirt design to Hot Topic in an attempt to <laughs> repopularize it and make a lot of money. Yes, let's just hope people think I think Goonies that's a great idea, it. actually. I think it's a great idea. John, thank you so much for coming on uh, again this week, and we're going to have oh. you one last time tomorrow. But oh, thanks tell, so much. Yeah, man. Uh, tell everybody where they can find you online. Uh, I'm, I do a couple podcasts. One's called The Fifth Element, a Movies by Minute podcast where we break down the movie The Fifth Element. I do it with Movies by Minute's Maven Crystal Beth over at thefifthelement.com. It's also on iTunes. And feel like video games, me and Crystal are also on a podcast called Unlimited Lives Radio also on iTunes. And if you want to follow me on Twitter, my Twitter is at John Robert Will. So give me a follow, why don't you? Do it. All right, Christopher, you ready to? I'm good. Let's go. All right, everybody, thank you so much for tuning into Goonies Minute today. Until tomorrow, this is Brady. And this is Chris. And we're here to remind you that Goonies never, never say, say die. die. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Goonies Minute is a fan-supported podcast. If you like the show, then leave us a review on iTunes. You can find us at GooniesMinute.com, Facebook.com slash GooniesMinute, Twitter.com slash GooniesMinute, and at Instagram at GooniesMinute. You can contact us at GooniesMinute at gmail.com. You've been listening to a Pele Media Podcast. For premium content and exclusive podcasts, visit us at Patreon.com slash Pele Media. Check us out on Facebook at facebook.com slash Pele Media and follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash Pele Media. Yeah.